Okay, we're gonna pick it up here. So my wife, I had a blip and it cut me off and I wasn't quite finished with lesson three in module six. So I'm gonna wrap things up with the last few. Your graph should be looking like this, looking pretty good. And then on the back side, we have completed all these answers and I was just getting started on K. What is the distance between E and H or line EH? Okay, so the distance between two points comes up to be like a subtraction problem. So look at where E is and look at where H is. Take your larger number and, sorry, I got a whole bunch of stuff out in the interim. Okay, so take your larger number, point H, and that's three and a third, and then two thirds. So three and a third and two thirds. And so really what we're doing here is finding the difference, and this will focus because this iPad wants to be so kind to me because it just booted me out. There we go, thank you iPad. So we wanna find the difference between this point and this point. So if you start with the larger number, it's just like any other math problem. You're literally finding the difference between these two fractions. And so three and a third minus two thirds. If I take away one third, I'm at three. And if I take away one more third, I'm at two and two thirds. So you can do it by just thinking about a number line. Okay. And if you start, or you can make little tick marks to help you. If you start at three and one third, and then this would be three, and then this would be two and two thirds. So we're taking away two thirds by going one, two. Okay, so you can just make a tool or you can do it in your head, but two and two thirds would be the distance between E and H, okay? Only a couple more left. What is the length of HD? And we'll go over here. And so here we have on this vertical line, points H and D, okay? So uh, it's not really, it, what's important is the amount of space between here and here. You don't really have to note that it's three and a third, but we're gonna go over here to the Y axis. And we have two and two thirds for the lower one and five for the higher one. So it's five minus two and two thirds. So do that over here, five minus two and two thirds, and you can give yourself a number line, or you can do the strategy of subtracting the whole numbers. So five minus two is three, but you still have to take away the two thirds. And if you need a number line, that means you're going below three, so that's two and two thirds for the first one, and then two and one third for the second one. And so that would be the answer there. And you can, again, make a number line, but you have to take away all the whole numbers too. Would the length of ED, the previous one, sorry, that's a totally different one. Would the length of ED be greater or less than EH plus HD? That's the one I was trying to refer to. So EH plus HD, you can look over here, okay? EH plus HD, okay, so that's a, that's a long distance to travel if you go all the way across here and up here. And then if you compare that to line ED, which would be here, okay, so it's kind of like the, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So this here would be less than going all the way over here and all the way up here. And mathematically, you can add up all these points, but it's not necessary because you can see that it would be less, okay? And then last one, Jack was absent when the teacher explained how to describe the location of a point on the coordinate plane. You explain it to him using point J. So point J 
is right down here, okay? So how could you explain this? And so there are just a few things that you want to really, really lock in about coordinate grids. So first thing, um, you need to understand what the axes are. Okay, so uh, explain about the X and Y axes, A-X-E-S, you can uh, it's A-X-I-S for the singular or E-S for the plural. Um, your explanations may be very different, so really just kind of check the overall points. Um, explain to Tim using point J, so we've got the X-axis and the Y-axis. You have to count, this is basically, it's a number line. It, they are number lines. Okay, see what it's counting by. See what the number lines are counting. Okay, so you have to really understand what it is. Is it thirds? Is it whole numbers only? Is it tenths, fifths, five, 10, 15, 20? So every number line is gonna be different, every single one. Then count on the x-axis first which goes to the right first. And then in order to get to J, to the three and one third. Okay, now once you get to the three and one third line, then you can Count on the y-axis, okay, which is going up. Second, do that second, okay. And you're going to the, it's only one-third, it's only on that first line, okay, to the one-third or First intersecting line. Okay, so where the lines cross, is point J. Okay, and so that's kind of like your road map. It literally is how maps are made with the cross-referencing points. And so you have to understand what you're counting by, and you have to have a starting point, which is going to be your X and Y axis, X here, Y here. Count the appropriate number of places to the right for X, and then up for Y. And that's where you can find your points. And they're always going to be the same. All points will have basically the same explanation. You have to have an X and Y axis. You have to see what they're counting by. Start with the X axis, go to whatever, and then continue with the Y. And go ahead and click subscribe and come back for another one. And hopefully I won't get cut off on the next one. That is the most annoying thing, just want to say. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.